Live. Hello, everyone. It is a new face today. It is me, the son of the host, who doesn't pay me enough to do this for when I substitute. But there are two people on. Okay, Tally, we picked the background for ourselves. Perfect. She's picking the topics for us. Hi, John, question mark. Hello, Sarah, question mark, exclamation point. Is it John tonight? Oh, yes, it is. Good. Hello, Bobby. How's everyone doing? I kind of like when my dad says, like, open the doors and come in. It kind of feels like that right now. People are just walking in. Some of you are late. Some of you had to drop off the kids before you come to the show. Or if it's at my show, it's like four people. So eight is good. Hi, hi. My house is making so much noise right now. And it's because I'm the one on. If it was my dad, they'd be quiet, but they're like, ah, it can't be that good. Yes, door is wide open. Show is going to be great. Let's get into it. Feel free throughout the entire time to... um. Just ask random questions and just give me one second. Hey guys, I'm live right now. I'm live. It's the dog who talked back. She just barked back. Where are my friends? My friends are too busy for me today and for the live. And they had a great time last time. They had a blast. They're like They keep talking about it, that it was such a great time. Um, doing the show. They had a lot of fun. They learned a lot from you. They should be on soon, I think. Maybe Friday. Yeah, they have no respect, Sarah. Really. They don't. Let's start with our first question. Should we tally? We have a whole hour to kill together. And John forgot he was doing the show tonight, so he prepared last minute. But he's prepared, as always. I'm very good at improv, so... Let's see what we can do. Yeah, feel free to ask questions and give me topics. We can go into rabbit holes all you want. I know it's like my fourth episode now, and you probably already know me by now. I don't know how well you know my dad after 240 episodes. Yeah, you probably know him better than I do. You spend an hour with him each day. I spend an hour with him, but I'm on my phone watching his show. <laughs> John always forgets he's doing the show. It's the life of a 22-year-old, Sarah. When you're a bachelor and you're living your best life, <laughs> you forget you have a Facebook live show. But I love spending time with you. It's really fun. Like, I'm never like, oh, I have a show. I'm like, I can't wait for this show. Because either I'm going to say something funny or they're going to say something funny. Here's a question for you. How often do you get your hair cut? <sighs> Sarah, that is a great question. Um, I'm a very, I'm very good with money only when it comes to haircuts. So every time I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go get a haircut. It's, I, I pat myself on the back. Like I, I saved money, but in the end, don't look that good sometimes when the hair's growing, you know, out of your ears. Um, so it's, it's a good financial decision, but at the same time, that's probably why I'm single. Because I'm trying to save money on uh, haircuts. Bobby, I am so busy, man. I am I'm very busy. I Let's update you on John's life. Um, John just did a music video. Why am I talking in third person? I'm sorry. Uh, I just did a music video on Monday. We filmed at a winery in Temecula. And it was a bar fight scene, which was cool. So that took... Got home at 2 a.m. It was fun. Had a blast. Had a great time. So I've been editing that. That's due Friday, come to my knowledge. So editing an entire music video by Friday is no easy task, Bobby. Um, an I did another music video last week in Joshua Tree for a uh, worship band coming up. I won't say their names because it hasn't been released yet, um, but they have a new song. Okay, I'll, t I'll say their names. They're, the, they're called the Sly Fox. The Sly Foxes. They don't have a band name yet, but they're this amazing couple who are so kind. We had the best time together in the desert. They rented out an Airbnb, had my crew come. We had a great time, ate good every night, filmed 
at sunrise, filmed at sunset, um, and it was a, it was a great time. So I'm editing that simultaneously with this video due Friday. Um, so that's fun. It's weird because both videos are just so different. You know, one's a worship song, and one is a secular song, and even not secular. It's like I don't know, not worship. If that makes sense. And one of them's in black and white. One of them's in color. So my eyes are just don't know what they're doing. Like these lights are not helping. I can only, I'm seeing three cameras right now. There's only one. Let's read the comments. Sorry, that was a long update on my life, but we have an hour together. How have you been doing career wise? Yes, been doing great music videos. Already booked two more this week. Not, not to shoot this week, but I booked them this week. They're due by next month. Good questions. Great natural lighting out there at sunrise. Yes, Joey. Blue hour, beautiful. You can have the worst angles, but if you're in blue hour, it's beautiful, no matter what. Your son, Belinda, your son is a DJ in Florida. DJ Tonic. That's awesome. I could never be a DJ because I listen to the same song over and over again. You ever find yourself in the car listening to the same song the entire hour-long drive home, and you didn't even notice you're like at the end being like, the song is really long. Yeah, it's because it keeps playing. And you're you're too lazy or you're too like bored driving that, to change it. I'm glad you're keeping busy with the music videos. Thank you, Sarah. Here's another question for you. Let me see if there's any more questions. John, where do you see yourself in life three to five years from now? What's your daily schedule like? Michael, I'm a very night owl person. So I sleep very late and I wake up late, which is very nice because I do not, you morning people, I don't like waking up and nobody being there. I like it when I know that no one's going to wake up anytime soon because I, this used to be my room before we moved it and I had no door my entire life, did not have a door. So I just moved downstairs into my dad's old office. He moved his office up here and so now I have a door. But still, I loved the nighttime because there was privacy. Everyone was asleep. I could do whatever I wanted, like work-wise, no distractions. Because I'm very, like, all over the place. Like, if I have to do, like, write an essay, and then in between that essay, my dog comes up, it's going to distract me. I'm not going to get back to that essay for another hour. That, that's just what it is. So at nighttime, it's great because I have all that time unbothered to just sit and work and also it's great because while you're editing you're very tired which also helps because your judgment brain is off and so it allows you to make decisions that you wouldn't make in the daytime and almost 10 out of 10 those decisions with no judgment come out better than the ones in the daytime take it from me fellow if you're a night owl write it in the comments i want to know my people I just, I don't know why I love nighttime. Mornings, oh, the pain. I can't eat in the morning. My breakfast is at 4 p.m. Because I don't know why. There's a taste in my mouth when I wake up, and I just can't eat in the morning. So nighttime, best time, close to dinner, close to late night snacks. Dinner is the best meal. No, lunch might be the best meal. But dinner has, has better options. How often do you trim your beard and how long have you ever let it grow? I don't really keep count of the beard. I've let my hair grow down here, but the beard is always moving up and down. I trim it, try to trim it every other day, clean it up right here. Obviously, it wasn't today. I skipped it. Today's been a lazy one just because it rains. My body's just like, all right, buddy, you're taking a water break all day because it's raining outside. Glad you're keeping busy. DoorDash paid me a big settlement. Amy, congrats. Feel free to fund anything I make. I'd love that. We can say sponsored by DoorDash. If you're listening to the same song over and over, John, maybe you have it on replay. Yes. It's good you're staying busy, John. John, what is your favorite cartoon? Cartoon show? Ooh. Cartoon show or movie? Cartoon show. That is a hard one. Tally, what's my favorite cartoon show? Not really. SpongeBob, I wasn't allowed to watch it growing up. So I didn't really. I liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles growing up. That was my favorite cartoon oh my back then. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? 
I was allowed to watch that when I was a kid, and you're allowed to watch SpongeBob now? That's not fair, Mom. Here's a question for you, John. Are you more creative at night? Yes, Sarah. Because the judgment thing, off. In, in, in the morning, I'm, like, very critical. It's because you're angry that you woke up. Night owl. Yes. See, they look down on night owls. That's why you're skinny. Huh, mom, thanks. It's not because your food is... My mom has the... It's so ironic. My mom has the best food. She makes the best food. Probably not as good as Joey because he's, he's professional. But my mom is becoming professional. She's starting to sell her treats. Um, but yeah, my, it's ironic. My mom has the best food and I'm skinny. So that means I don't eat it. But when I go to my friends' houses and they're making just like baked beans, oh, I eat the whole plate for some reason. So mom, make more beans. You're both, Timothy. So you... You're a nurse at the emergency room shift, so you're awake all the time. I used to have to wake up at 4.30 a.m. every weekday. Do not miss it. Sarah, that would be a nightmare for me. That would be a nightmare. I'd rather get waterboarded than have to do that. Curling. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled. Curling and Kim. Not by you guys. I know we can say anything. I mean, Amy knows too. It's Art from San Marcos. Good to see you, John. Art, of course I remember you. You don't have to introduce yourself. I have a great memory. I'm not as old as my dad, folks. I remembered everything. No, he remembers great. My dad, I, I can't believe my dad is like, uh, he's going to hate me, but almost 60 because he literally looks, th he's in better shape than I am, which is sad to say. Tom and Jerry, that's a good one. How long have you had more hair than your dad? I don't remember him with long hair. John's dream girl is someone who's independently wealthy and can fund his directing career. Yes, Sarah, right on the bat. Hi, hello. Hello, Brent. Sorry, I'm so late on these comments. You have the coolest mom and dad. Thank you, Belinda. Maha Hummus Inc. We should have used that name. Was honored that when your dad called me, she got on the phone and asked me a cooking question. Yeah, that is cool. Bush's baked beans here in our house. Bring them over, open them, send them my way. I almost died from waking up that early. <sighs> you almost died. I probably would have died. Hi, Sarah, folks, and all the animals. 4.30 a.m. wake-up call was a nightmare. I am yonder. All right, let's get into our question. This is why I have this background right here. I was watching this documentary yesterday, and it was the New York Times on Hulu presented. It was called The Boy Who Hacked Twitter. And I find out, I'm watching this. It's a great documentary if you have Hulu. This guy was 17, and he hacked every single Twitter account. This year, tw last year, 2020, he hacked every single Twitter account, okay? The power of Twitter, he had it at 17. And so they go into how he got it. They go into his history of how he used to scam people online through Bitcoin and stuff. And the funny part is this kid had access to every single Twitter account, every single DM. He could tweet from every account, every single personal thing. And he decided to post on Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Elon Musk, other people I'm trying to think of, just a bunch of celebrities. He posted this Bitcoin link that was a scam. That's all he did. He could have done anything. He could have started a nuclear war. Like, you know, at the time, Trump tweeting to Putin, come get me, or like, we're coming for you. You know, he could have easily, easily dropped. He could have, it was two days before the election, too. He could have shifted the election, this kid. But because he's a kid, he decides, I'm going to scam people with a link for them to click on. And people, some people were scammed. Because imagine, like, verified celebrities posting this link and being like, I'm giving back to the community. Yeah. So I don't know. You should watch that doc. So the question, that was a long intro. The question is, if you could hack into one Twitter account, who would it be and what would you say? I think that's a good question. Let me think of mine. I'm going to give it, I'll give everyone a second. I'll be thinking of mine too. So let me write, Tally, can you type the question uh, and pin it? The question is, again, if you could hack into a Twitter account, who would it be and what would you tweet? 
It is a hard question, but it's every possibility. It's fine if they don't actually have a Twitter account, but like name a celebrity who's still alive. Who would you do and what would you tweet? Who would you, yeah, who would you hack and what would you tweet? John, what was I doing at 17? Sarah, that's a funny question. Um, so this kid started out on Minecraft, hacking people on Minecraft. And I, I hope no future girlfriends are watching this, but I was obsessed with Minecraft. I loved Minecraft. So at 17, I was on Minecraft. 17 was a big year I was on Minecraft. And I used to build these big maps based on like SpongeBob and like other movies I liked. I just used to be creative with it. While this guy used to hack people, I used to be creative on Minecraft. So we were both on Minecraft at 17, but this guy had access to every Twitter and I was getting two to three likes on just my tweets that were about nothing. Right, what was my first tweet? My first tweet ever is surfing the web. My own, because my wife blocked me, <laughs> Brent. Joe Biden account say I retired now. Amy, politics. I'd hack into John's and announce Fern too. Sarah, I was waiting for Michael to bring it up, but you did. I was like, I'm going to give this guy the toilet paper roll if he doesn't bring up Fern the whole time. So you kind of ruined it for him. You kind of ruined it for him. Bobby Miller. Sorry, can't. He has been removed. You guys are funny doing people in the chat. But really, if you had that access, that'd be the last person you would go on. I have access to my dad's Twitter. I'm not doing anything with it. I just posted a link for scamming last. <laughs> Nazareth Twitter. Hair club for men does not work. I could tweet that right now, Brent. I will. He's going to say, what's, what happened? I have my dad's TikTok, too, which randomly gets views. My TikTok gets views, too, actually. Not to brag, but in the last month, I've gotten a total of 4 million views. And now I'm at like three, almost 300K likes. I got 2,000 followers on TikTok just because I posted how I put my calendar on my fridge so that my parents don't ask where I am. And how Carol puts a calendar of days she stayed home so that they don't get mad that she's not home. You should check it out. It's at John Riscala. You can go watch it. Do not look at any other ones. Just that one. It's the first one. Please. Some of them are dancing. Don't look at them. Our word. I heard country music and rap music is going to collaborate. It's going to be called, I'll say it, crap. Lonnie, you're, you, you wouldn't use that word around, around my dad, would you? You're going to use it around me. I'm human. I'm not a bird. I've never tweeted before. Ha <laughs> ha. Art. Seriously, though, what is this whole Fern 2 thing about? I really don't know. Fern 2 is the... So I made a music video called Fern. Michael has probably watched it a thousand times. It has 2,000 views. He's probably half of it. Um, and he really likes it. And every time I'm mentioned, he brings it up. And my dad thinks it's the funniest thing. And I'm just like, okay, let's do it. And so, yeah, there will be more music videos with Lauren, Michael, I guess. But there won't be a Fern, too. Hack Brent's account and actually say something funny. Sarah, wow. <laughs> Hack into Governor Newsom's account and tweet, I'm giving away free money. That's what the 17-year-old did, Bobby. He said, I'm giving away free money. And then y you would do more. You could get Kim Jong-un's Twitter TikTok, isn't that the bedside clock in Blue's Clues? Haha, <laughs> Joey. Good. Lonnie's on TikTok. Lonnie is on TikTok. I know. He's he's very consistent on TikTok, which I'm not. Lonnie, I gotta DM Lonnie to get me give me some tips on TikTok. He has a lot of followers. He's more followers than me, but I think I have more views. Beth Moore, Twitter, Trump, 2024. <laughs> Harrison Ford stating we'll go to right. Rip on college to discuss hand solo. That'd be cool. If you're a professor, you could do that to get a lot of people interested in your school. Is it sanitize and share time? Sarah, we don't follow the rules when I'm on, but yes. Sure, why not? They're still talking in the back. Hey, mom. Mom, I'm doing the show. <laughs> she's watching it and she forgets. I, I would need a live audience, though. Katy Perry, wish I could see the baby Daisy. Wow, that's a good one. 
She's married to Orlando Bloom, right? Nancy Pelosi account too. I will say to all homeless people, come to my house and live in my backyard. <laughs> Amy, that's a funny one. Hack into Dr. Fauci's account and tweet, COVID has been all a big joke. Uh -huh. If I watched Fern, would I be considered green? I don't, I don't know if I still, I don't know what I mean. Tell what does green mean? The color? Sick? Sorry, Michael Ramirez. No, I honestly love that video. Jo Michael, thank you. It, it means a lot. I think it's my favorite video too. But honestly, new ones coming. One of the new ones coming, I won't say which one, is now my favorite. These are making me crack up. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. How can a Fauci account and say he can have my vaccine? Have you heard about the German watch repairs work working on a particularly different case? They said, Vihe va ways to make you talk. <laughs> we have ways to make you talk. Art, you're hilarious. Harrison Ford went to school at Ripon. I'm saying it wrong. I know it. It's either Ripon or Ripon. The View Twitter's account. We are canceled. <laughs> That is a good one. What do you have against Whoopi? I'm kidding. We have a lot. Yes, I'm on TikTok. I'm on the road to 10K followers. Lana, I got to learn from you, buddy. Hack everyone and have that dancing baby show up on every single one. Sarah, that's what... Oh, I meant green as an eco-friendly... It's weird art. When you're reading jokes, they're so hard to understand. You have to, like, hear them. You know? So, like, reading jokes... Especially like referencing jokes back, like remembering jokes you've said before and then making a reference to them. I forget as soon as I read the comment, which is kind of bad, but we'll see. Make a call back and I'll probably see if I remember. I like Whoopi, but not the actress. A Whopper at Burger King, is that what you mean? Not married yet. COVID backed it up. I knew her when she was younger at the Dream Center. I was there working. Is that for Whoopi? See, I don't know because I don't remember. Hack everyone and have that dancing... Sarah, you, Sarah, you wouldn't just have a dancing baby on. You have ultimate power to people's Twitter. You can see their private messages. This is what I would do. I would... I don't even know what I would do. I'm trying to think of something funny here, but it's... I'd, like, tweet on the Twitter CEO's page. We are... We are creating a dislike button and then just tweet that and just see the community just go off because that's all they want they just want a way to show people hey i don't like this because it's funny you think about it there's way more stuff on social media that we don't like than we do like and there's no like button you are the saddest thing is when i'm on facebook you know sometimes not so much anymore when I'm on Facebook to see what y'all are up to and someone's posting, I know there's other emotions, but someone's posting about their like mom's funeral or their dad's funeral or someone they loved's funeral. And the only option I have is to look under and see that there's 32 likes. Like I get it. Some people are doing the angry reactions. Good job. You're advanced on Facebook. But really? There's only a like button. That's what is pushing us to only post the good things in our lives. We need to start posting the bad things because sometimes you go on social media all day and you go, this guy's living the best life ever and I'm not. And you compare yourself. But if we posted the things that didn't happen well, then life, I think social media would be a, a better place. I think it'd be more realistic. And people would stop comparing each other so much. So yeah, let's start posting the divorces. Let's start posting the accidental surgeries. Where they, they added a, something to our, but I don't know. Just more like that. You get it? Let's. I should start posting about the music videos that didn't come out good. You know? Just be like, hey, I messed up this time. I learned. Like there's a there's an account on Instagram called Worship Fails and I I think it's hilarious. I think it's so funny because it's like it's always this one worship leader singing and like the music stops or something and it's just louder 
than everyone else and it kind of sounds bad without the music or it's like drum cases falling over and i think that account is great because it shows that nobody's perfect even the church the church tries to be perfect but you have to understand the church can't be perfect because it's filled with people who aren't perfect no institution ever is going to be perfect there's only one person who's ever perfect he's on this earth 2000 years ago and he's hosting this live show i'm just kidding that was so heretical god don't strike me down sir you gave me till friday dancing baby started out on ally mcbeal i'm so late on these comments because i've just been preaching nazareth twitter i've had over 10 beauty breaks and none have helped <laughs> brent that's a good one i don't know why he wanted to do that but he did it and i guess it works for some reason, my dad just likes likes acting like he has COVID on this show. I saw a funeral post that was so funny that it killed me. <laughs> Hack John's and have him say, after taking a thousand beauty breaks, none has worked. Sarah, don't come for me. I'm the host today. No derogatory comments on the host. He, I could have been having a bad day. That could have set me off and made me want to hack all of Twitter, you know? Facebook and reality, LOL. Becky, you know it. I do keep it real. Good for you, Belinda, keeping it real. That's the best thing. Keep it real. Post about mistakes. I would put 30 people in orange jumpsuits in a prison bus, drive them in front of Walmart, and set them free in there on Twitter account of Sleepy Joe. Amy, please. Amy, please. I know social media, you're not supposed to post... I'm telling you not to post the bad, but for this chat, we can just be happy and positive. Yes, worship fails is great. Amen. Amen. Wow, mom. Bonus points. I think it would be wrong to hack every vegan's account and post steaks. That's a good one, Sarah. My wife is not perfect. Glad I said it. Brent, you're hilarious. Karaoke, a redneck's funeral. Lonnie, I'm dead. Amen, John Riscala. John, you're so funny in thinking that I actually care. Whoa, Tally, do you read that? <laughs> Sarah said, you're so funny in thinking that I actually care. Was that a reference to the comment you made about me? So you don't care that. I Dang, Sarah. Tally's mad too. Tally, call, stats, Tally, call the Italians. <laughs> Get out, you have them on speed dial. Hack John account. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John of Nazareth. Brent, that's funny, but that's you. I'm the last account you want. I only have a thousand followers. No, 798 actually. Check it. My tweets are funny. They're just. Here, let's. Should we read through my tweets? Yeah. I think it might. Should we read through my tweets? Yeah. I'm going to read through my tweets. I think it'd be funny. I think it might be wrong to hack Nazareth's account and have him post that Bob Smiley is the funniest comedian. Yeah, my dad doesn't normally lie on his Twitter, Sarah. Here we go. I'm going to read through my tweets. We've gotten this far. And I have one more show to go with you guys this week. Probably not tomorrow. I'm going to take a day off tomorrow so I can work on stuff and go to church because church is important. And so have a day off. You can watch this episode again. I know it's your favorite when I'm on. All right. Let's look through my tweets. I'm going to read them. So no videos, no photos because it's going to be hard to see. Sports caps are just adult sippy cups. You know those bottles that have the, like, tube cups? I bought one accidentally. Accidentally went to a gas station. Got a Gatorade. Went in my car, opened it. Oh, disappointed. Disappointed. They really want me to act like an infant right now. <laughs> Sorry, that was, a, that was a bad one. Um, but, yeah, no. There is no reason. I get it when you're in sports and you got to, you know, you know, I get it. But why? We've outgrown sippy cups. We're at a point where it's okay to have a little blue mustache after you drink Gatorade. It's okay. You don't need a tube. Wait till I'm like 80 and I need a tube to drink. Don't give it to me now. All right. The kid who drove minivans in high school are the backbone of our society. I drove a minivan in high school. This live show, you could say, is the backbone for 17 people right now. It's keeping me going today. 
been great. It's it's fun to hang out during COVID. And and honestly, it is impressive that you watch a lot, people. It is honestly like I have the utmost respect that you have been loyal and committed to this show. And I think it means the most the world to my dad. You can see I'm like I'm I'm kind of a negative Nancy. I'm like, Dad, it's 243 episodes. Who cares if you miss one? And he goes, John, I care. Because I don't care about the views. I care about the family that comes every night to spend an hour with me. And so, yeah, maybe that is my goal in life, is to get people like you to want to spend an hour with me. And I know why you're here. You're here, you're here in, the, in the chance that Naz walks back in. And then when the end episode ends, you're like, I guess he was really out of town. And then you watch the next one. Maybe, maybe dad will. I'm just kidding. I know you love me. I just give a new breath of the show. I think John got Nazareth attitude from the other day. If you were my, sorry, it was raining today. It's an off day for me. Young people want to know what's real and would the real Jesus please stand up. Your dad does a great job showing the real Jesus grace. I'm not sure a sippy cup would even help John. Sorry, John, I'm so tired right now that I'm really sassy tonight. Thank you, Sarah. Keep going. I really am not sensitive. I just hold it in. <laughs> I think it might be wrong. Yeah, okay. Let's see what people are saying. I can keep going. I hate quarantine. Quarantine is like prison, except you can shower alone. Joey, that is hilarious. Mr. John's Neighborhood. Bobby, thank you. Tell you can change it to any other background. We're over the Twitter. Well, I'm still reading Twitter. We know that when John is here, we can be a bit... True. Exactly. You know what? That is a true statement. I want you to know that when I'm here, you can say anything. You can sin in front of me. I won't care. Yeah, my dad has a reputation to keep up, an audience to keep up. So it's way more, you know, legal. I'm way more like make fun of me, say whatever you want, but be nice. Because I'll probably send a nasty DM after the show. I can't say it now because mom's watching. Right, mom? She's got AirPods in. She can't hear me. Let's go through more. Let's go through more tweets. A TikTok I spent 10 minutes max on just got more views than projects I've spent months on. Digest that. Let that sink in. It hurt. Don't be afraid to tell your friends their art is bad. And this is what my friend said. I'm about to send you a text. Glad, glad you know about your own art. Something like that. I'm mad about it. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. Sundance is really charging $350 for me to watch movies on my computer this year. It's a pretty smart tweet. I'm really just reading my phone. For you guys, and it's it's entertainment. 16 people are still on. That's a good sign. Tell so you can unpin the question. She's too busy playing Minecraft right now. She's building. Well, I'm John, your mom is saying no hummus for you tonight, son. What did my mom say? Is she mad? If you hold it in, John, you might explode. Don't be mad at Sarah. Rooster is her only friend. See, I don't watch the other shows, so that's probably a reference to an older episode. <laughs> Okay, Mr. John's Neighborhood. That's my favorite comment so far, Bobby. That is hilarious. We can't say anything bad about John that people on Twitter have already said. <laughs> Good one. I try, I'm try. i tired of wearing these masks. It's funny to see people wearing a double mask. All are doing is doubling the damage to their lungs. Bobby, it's over soon. We're all going to get the vaccine soon. Don't worry. Talk about the Middle East, man. That's They're covered all the time. Why was the Capitol building so hard to enter in the movie Olympus Has Fallen? That was the day of the Capitol. 2021, I'm going to start caring about other people. <laughs> That's funny because it's so not like me. Some of you don't... Bobby, this, this is actually very funny because it has to do with what you just said. Some of you don't wear glasses and still complain about wearing masks. If you don't wear glasses and you're complaining about wearing masks... What's going on? There's something deeper there because I have glasses and masks are 
the roughest. So every Thursday, I run cameras at my church, okay? And I'm out there in the cold, holding the camera, having to see the angles of the band, the guitar player, the drummer, making it look great. Of course, as soon as the camera is on my turn, and I'm, I'm on the live stream, the glasses fog up because I'm wearing a mask. And you can't see the angle. So you just pray, Lord, if this is your service and you love this church, you're going to guide my hands. And he does. That's, how, that's why I'm still at the church. My parents got me concert tickets for Christmas. <laughs> that was 2020. When it, it's funny because there were no concerts. What did Mary say to the guy working at the inn on Nativity? Can I speak to the manger? I only tweet things that, like, four months later, I would still laugh at. I delete them if I don't laugh. COVID and the vaccine are now competing to see who can get to me first. That's funny. All my homies hate Prince Charles. I had just watched The Crown that dives into the uh, royal family and... Okay, good. Y'all are laughing. I should probably read some of your comments, too, just to even it out. My glasses slip off easy with a mat with a mask is useless. Amy, my glasses slip off easy with a mask is useless as our governor. Amy, maybe maybe the glasses are slipping off because I didn't understand that sentence. I just got home doing a camera for live stream as well. It makes me wish I had tiny. Exactly, Becky. You know exactly. John is laughing at himself. Naz would if he could understand what he is saying. <laughs> is so funny that is a good one hey that manger joke was the last straw funny hack john's account and post something that's actually funny and not a dad joke sarah the jk makes it worse because now it's like hey i know you can't handle this unfunny joke i'll bite back my glasses slip off easily when you get going joey stilson you'll really be cooking there's a spray you can buy that defogs your glasses for eight hours john bobby let me know. Yeah, Bobby, so you can you wear glasses. You can complain about masks. All good. I don't wear masks because I don't want to get COVID. Well, a checker at Stater Bros was wearing three masks. I said, you're going to get lung cancer soon. Sooner. How How do we... Because he, was he smoking a cigarette after? What? How is he... For all your political news, call Amy. Thank you, Lonnie. Yes. Lonnie, make a TikTok just about Amy's political news. It'll go viral. I promise. I'll do it before you do if you're not fast enough. I wore the same Spider-Man bathrobe for 14 years. Don't talk to me about commitment. <laughs> that is a true statement. Every time I t take a nap, I have a cultural reset. What is something that isn't Christian but feels Christian to you? And I put coffee shops, which is very true. My, that's all we hang out around at churches. I think it's time to unfreeze Walt Disney. Don't you think seven layers of dip is kind of excessive? My phone has been so dry since no on Prop 23 stopped texting me. Wow, this is from November. I said, am I the only person who listens to the same exact song on repeat the entire drive without noticing? You see, I am not lying. This is a tweet. I thought of this on November 2nd. And then I just remembered it today. And then I decided, oh, here we go. Lamise, my aunt is commenting. Hi, Auntie Lamise. I miss you. Habibti. We should hang out soon. It's been a while. Disposable mask. I, if I don't see you soon, I'll probably see you at the wedding in summer, even though you're 15 minutes away. So it's kind of disgraceful that I don't go over. I got to come over to Chino. I'm there a lot. Disposable masks are the best with glasses. Yes. Here's a question for you, John. What movies really make you laugh? That's a hard question, Sarah. A lot of... They don't have to be comedies to make me laugh. There's just moments that are just hilarious. What did I see? 
The movie Airplane is is probably iconic comedy movie. It's an old one, but it's my dad loved it too. What's another funny movie? Kelly, can you look up funny movies and start naming for me when you get the chance? She said, "All right." Like, take this job and shove it. Song over, over, and over. John, you're getting married. Art, please. That that one was too far. You can make any joke. That's the one you don't make. Seven layers of dip is too many. Then an eight-layer burrito is off the chain. Well, yes. Coming to America. Haven't seen Coming to America. What have you seen? Just name one that you think I've seen. Parasite. Pa what? That's not funny. <laughs> well, I mean, Maz is a bit of a matchmaker, so maybe he is. Sarah, can we not talk about marriage, folks? Please give me at least till 30. Parasite is, a is under popular comedy. Parasite is under popular comedy. All right, Tally, I'm good. I'll think of it more. Perfect. No, I haven't, don't like that one. Like, take this. Okay, I'm... Tommy Boy was funny. Yes, Tommy Boy is good. Name some comedy movies. I'll tell you if I think they're funny. The B movie is good. I could say The Naked Gun. Dumb and Dumber movie, funny. Jim Carrey, hilarious. The Grinch is good. Tell you, you don't have to. They're going to say it in the comments. You're chilling. You can go back to playing Minecraft. I skipped your last comment, Brent. I don't get no respect. I sent an instant message the other day and it took three to five business days to deliver. Is that a tweet, Brent? Should I tweet that? Okay, you have until 39, then you can date. Becky, thank you. And also, why are you talking to my mom about that? That's what she says. Well, John, you didn't bring up matrimony on your own. Don't know what matrimony means, Sarah. I'm not married. Happy Gilmore, great movie. Okay, I know I'm in Utah because they just served me white rice at a Mexican restaurant. Pretty good tweet. It got 20 likes. Okay. They love me. I hope John Travolta is doing okay. Did I hope John Travolta was doing okay at the time? I didn't care. I was already on his Twitter account. Kidding. Too many. Wow. It's been 10 years since I got hit by a car while walking to school. That's a true story. Maybe one day. I probably explained it before. I got hit by a car 10 years ago. Old lady. Made a left. It's in my stand up. Flew back, didn't get any head trauma. I tweeted, I love napkins. I should <laughs> Is that funny? Tally? I tweeted, I love napkins. Why? I don't know. I probably had a great day where the, the guy at the drive thru put enough napkins to where my double double fell on my sweater and I wiped it off. This is when the earthquake happened. I tweeted, tweeting so everyone knows that I felt the earthquake too. If John gets off Twitter, maybe a dating app would help him. Tally, does the title of this live say Roast John? Nope. Oh my God, I got hit by a car while jogging. Michael, how fast were they going? Because mine was going 50. It was a typo. I meant 30. Yeah, well, my mom meant 39. Maybe naps? Mom, what do you mean? Blazing Saddles is good. Identity Theft is funny. Ferris Bueller, funny. I think... There, there's a good joke in every movie. If there's not a single good joke in a movie, it's probably not a good movie. Or at least a moment, a visual moment. Hey, everyone, give John some good pickup lines. See, that's how bored they were of the tweets. We have to make our own questions. Father of the Bride movies? I don't think my mom liked that one. I think we tried that one. Oh, there's a Steve Martin movie where he's like this evangelical like preacher. And it's so good. Hey, do you have to type that loud? I can hear it on the show. My name is John, but I'm not Baptist. Like a California stop between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Please, nobody sign John up for Christian Mingle. Please. The last person I want to date is a, is a Christian who mingles. I want a Christian who doesn't want a boyfriend. Funny thing happened on my way to the forum. How long do we have? We have 15 minutes, folks, and I'm still at 17 viewers. That is a sign that even when I'm unprepared and even when I could have been more prepared, I can still pull it off with 17 beautiful people who care what I have to say. Maybe it's the beard.
Maybe it's to see if my glasses ever fog up the rest of the show. Here, I'm going to put a mask on, and we're going to see how soon I fog up. Let me run you through the church service. So I'm holding the camera. Holding the camera. Holding it. Doing the angles of the drum. It's 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 way easier to fog since it's colder outside at the time and I'm freezing so I You can see there's a little fog there. You can see there's a little fog there. It's hard to show. Give me a second. I'm a, there we go. It's like <laughs> I'm doing meditated breathing with y'all. Here we go. Let me let me help. Still not foggy. It's insane. There we go. That worked. That was a good. That was pointless. What are we doing next? Masks only work 2%. The other 98% don't work. I like my odds. We always care about you, John, although some days more than others. Sarah, you really don't... The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Becky, I know she's related to you, but y'all are the same sense of humor. John, the fact that we pick on you is because we like you. Oh, the heater's on, Mom. Thanks. My name is John, and my beard screams Amish. Or the other one, you know? The guys who, who like wearing masks in the desert with tow trucks and guns. Yeah, I don't have to say anymore. John, it's hard to eat hummus with a mask on. No, it's actually fun, Art. You get to save it for later by leaving it on there. <laughs> you missed my last comment. Joey... My dad does not make every comment, I don't think, but I'll look for it. Trains, planes, and automobiles, good one. I, I like that other one, though, better with Steve Martin. John of Damascus. That's funny. Honestly, Joey, say it again. I can't find it. It's time for the Guinness Book of World Records. I do not have a Guinness Book of World Record today because when John's hosting, we get a break from any laws. Check out Farmers Only. Amy, is, tell me about Farmers Only. And what kind of crop does the person you found on there do? It, okay, let's new question. New question. Tally, is there a field or a ranch background you could put? If you could marry, even if you're married, even if you're dating, but my single people, listen up. If you could marry a farmer, what crop would you want them to? To produce. You can be funny. You can say whatever you had. The last time John had sparks with a woman is when a female nurse had to use the... <laughs> oh, that is a good one, Joey. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep roasting me. The only reason I'm not impressed is because you could be way meaner. Sarah's going too easy. Joey, that was a good one. It wasn't funny, though, because it's true. Corn, because my wife likes ears. That's a good one. Amy, you sent the link twice now. Now it's a crime. Let me think. What is my crop? I can't find any art. It's fine. You're good. Uh, money. Money is mine. She's got to grow money trees. Just kidding. It's probably grapes, you know? I like a girl who knows... Wine. Likes wine. Yes, be mean, Brent. What were you doing before? What's the point of saying a joke if you're not going to go the fullest length? Money trees. But Brent, just know, if you're mean to me, I'm going to stalk your entire Facebook. I'm going to find something to say back. I'm going to DM you it. And then at the end, I'm going to say blessings. Love, John. So it won't be that bad. I didn't think of anything funny because I liked food too much. <laughs> Becky, you're good. John, check out femalechristiancomediansonly.com. Art. Now you know my nightmares, sir. Female Christian comedians. Maybe. 
turnips because I want a wife that turns up. I'm shaking too much. I can tell I'm shaking on the on the live. Sorry about that. I think let's think of a scenario where I'm married to a I'm shaking again. Sorry. Let's think of a scenario where I'm married to a female Christian comedian. This is how it plays out. I'm giving the invitation today. No, I'm giving the invitation today. My snoring punchline is way better than your punchline. But I'm going to bring more people to Christ with my moose joke. That's that is a conversation. I do remember these this couple that my dad was friends with growing up. Or I was growing up all these friends with them. It was Ron McGee and Carrie pa- Palma. Oh my god. Carrie P. I'm so sorry, Carrie, if you're watching this. Pomarelli. Pomarelli. What am I saying? Ron McGee, Carrie Pomarelli. When they were married, they were hilarious together. They were hilarious. It looked the best. I wanted that relationship because it was just like joke after joke after joke, and they would make fun of each other. And so, yeah, maybe comedians are crazy people, you know? I kind of want a normal person. I like how my mom is very modest and doesn't like attention because you can't have two people trying to fight for the spotlight. Pomeral. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I, if, if it had a more K's and Q's and K's and K's, I'd know how to say it. I think John's shaking because he's just thinking about the whole, if he was married, it may be from sheer terror. I'm thinking of me signing up for Farmers Only. John does not have a unibrow. That would mean two things together would have to like John. So good. Let's get some likes on that comment, folks, because Brent needs the validation. That's great. <laughs> I'm just getting mad. <laughs> Dad, I'm never hosting this show again. Brent made the unibrow joke. That's great, John. It might better than you don't marry a Christian comedian. I try to set up Sarah with Ben Corson, John Ruscala. Ben Corson is a very attractive fellow. But imagine, would you, uh, I, I wouldn't, well, I it's, it's kind of hard, but I'm thinking, would I marry worship leader? Maybe, but they're also, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to say no to anything because right now the line is really, it looks like the line at, at Toys R Us right now. You know, it's it's not there because they're bankrupt <laughs> and no one wants to have fun anymore. <laughs> it's so depressing. <laughs> I'm going to delete this episode after we're done. Hey, John, go to go Home Depot. Go find your wife is looking for tools. <laughs> Amy, if you meant to, if that meant to be a mean one, that was good. You're calling me a tool. John looks like his hair has a mullet in reverse. Brent, you know I don't care. John is single has never worked at a restaurant because he's always free on Saturday nights. <laughs> That's a good restaurant joke, Joey. That good on you, John Deere tractor, because he wants her to be a deer. No, I want her to be a tractor. I want her to have big wheels and be able to. <laughs> Sorry. Disneyland's opening again soon. <laughs> Everyone is making fun of me. And Bobby's just like, hey, guys, Disneyland's opening. <laughs> I love you, Bobby. Thank you for not being mean. Or is the next part of that statement mean? Disneyland's opening again soon. J- let me. Someone finish. Ju- Bobby's line to make it mean to me. Disneyland is opening again soon. So that means, hmm. You can play Goofy again? I'm trying to think of a good one. Or uh, the only princess you're, mar- you're marrying is Sleeping. I don't know. Sleeping Beauty. John has a famous dad. Brent, you took it too far, man. Bob Smiley? Really? Any other comedian? Hey, John, I heard Disney needs some characters. There we go. Good one. Good one. How long are we? Four minutes. Thank the Lord, four minutes. And I'm not even going to do prayer requests because any prayer I pray for y'all right now is going to be void because I don't mean it. Just kidding. I, I. Sarah started it. I'll blame Sarah. Bobby is saying that's where you can find your wife. John has a job again as a Disney princess. Funny. There's no lines waiting for John. 
Oh, it's like Disneyland. I got you. That's a good one. Sarah, true story. Whoa, whoa, Art. We don't write paragraphs on here, man. I can't read. <laughs> that means Mickey Mouse won't live next door no more. <laughs> Lonnie, that's a good one. That's a TikTok reference. Pray for John. Yeah, you can pray for me, but... Pray for me when I tell on you guys to my dad. I'm like, Dad, a bunch of over 30-year-olds spent their hour making fun of a 22-year-old who still has potential. <laughs> I don't mean that. If I, I didn't mean that. If you're offended easily, I didn't mean it. If you're not offended easily, I took it to the fullest extent. You bullied a 22 year old. I hope you feel better. Please, Lord, I pray for everyone struggling through something right now, Lord. Please, just, just be there for them, Lord. Please. And there is no double intention on this, even though I know you read minds. You know exactly what I'm thinking right now and who I'm thinking about in the comments. Lord, please forgive me and forgive them first because they're making fun of a 22-year-old and it's a Wednesday night. I'm not offended. I'm married. Wow, Brent, you got me. You're married. You got three minutes. Enough time to read mine. Art, I'm good, man. Sorry, Art. John is practically blind and can't read that well. <laughs> It's called astigmatism. Please, Lord, I just pray for Sarah, Lord. Please do not take her vision, Lord. Do not. Even though she feels free to make fun of other people's vision, Lord. Please keep her eyes. Give her all the carrots in the world so her eyes are strengthened, Lord. I'm not offended. I'm married. Please, Lord, I pray for Brent, Lord. I pray that Audra is not watching, Lord. And I pray that Audra does not see that Brent is making fun of a 22-year-old man when he could be working and making them more money. The gates are still closed. I mean, Disneyland, the mouse and crew are staring out, wondering where John is. Please, Lord, I pray for Bobby. <laughs> I pray for Bobby, Lord. John Riscali, you are funny, LOL. Michael, I'm not praying for you, lucky boy. Are you actually praying or acting? Lord, I pray for Sarah again, Lord. Please let her not know her left from right. I got a headache. She's in the other room. LOL. My boys would understand you. They speak your language. Thank you, Belinda. No, John is blind with the glasses. Please, Lord, I pray for Sarah, Lord. Let all the bunnies just come to our doorstep one day and just hand her the carrots and say, we don't want them anymore. Your eyesight is more important. Don't joke about people that stigmatism. I do. It's no funny to switch back and forth between glasses. Bobby, I'm not making jokes. I have stigmatism. I'm not. I didn't. I didn't just pick a condition to lie about. I have football shaped eyes. Okay. NFL hits me up every year. Goes, hey, can we use them this year for the Super Bowl? And I'm like, no, I need them. Suzanne, three prayer, four prayer emojis. I think. Hi, Suzanne. Welcome. You're late to the best show ever yet. You know, John has never worked in a restaurant because his hands are soft. And the only time he's gotten burnt is by our jokes. Please, Lord, J I pray that Joey remembers to turn the oven off the night before in the restaurant, Lord. Please don't burn down in flames like you did to the altar, Lord. Please. Please let the kitchen be the altars of all altars, the holy of all holies, so that when Joey walks in, he's instantly striked down, Lord, by your power. And let the veil never be torn. And Lord, let the Yelp reviews just come on down. <laughs> I want to go. I want to keep going now. This is fun. I went to the dentist appointment today, but the temporary crown lady wasn't there today. I got it. Thank you, Lord, for Johnny. He brings fresh humor to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for Bobby. Please protect him. I actually mean it. Oh, look at the time. No, I'm saying I have stigmatism too. Okay, good. If all the bunnies could show up on my house, all the coyotes would come to eat them. All right, 831. I gave you an extra minute. I can't stop laughing. I'm laughing so hard. Lord, I mean it when I say let Michael live forever and let him find a beautiful woman and let him just let there be a fern too for him, Lord. Let there be a fern too for him. Amy, John said he's watched the crown. Yeah, I've watched the crown. I have astigmatism as well. Astigmatism is hard. We can talk about that on Friday, folks. I'm going to end it here so that y'all can't make fun of me anymore. Thank you so much. It was a fun show.
I'm telling you, preparation, you don't need it, okay? It's a fun show. You got me. You're going to have a good time. 21 people now. The prayer works. We can continue this later. If you want to keep making fun of me on Friday, we're going to take a day off tomorrow. You can watch this episode again, or you can watch the other ones I've been on. Just don't watch any with my dad. Just me, okay? This is my week. He's gone. He's going to watch this. I'm going to get a call, and my mom's making food that I'm going to avoid eating. So thank you. And happy tweeting. How do you turn this off, Callie?